See, which will happen then I'll just go through it. So the main important thing guys I want you to remember is when you're looking at these whenever you're given a sine squared, a cosine squared, um, a tangent squared, a cosecant squared, whenever you're given your trig function squared always write down what your Pythagorean identity is. All right so I see this cosine squared I automatically first thing I do I don't even try to do anything else the first thing I want to do is write out my identity. Okay, you should have that memorized. You shouldn't have to look that one up at all. Now I need plus one. E equals one. So now what I'm trying to say is, what does how can I rewrite that so it looks like one minus cosine squared? Well, if I subtract a cosine squared of x on both sides, what I get is sine squared of x equals one minus cosine squared of x. So does everybody see what I did there? All right, whenever you see a square, just automatically think trig identity, okay? Because it's more likely you're gonna be using that to help you out. So you write your trig identity, and I said, can I transform this identity to something else? Well, or obviously the sine. And yes, if you subtract the cosine squared to the other side, you get sine squared equals one minus cosine squared. Does everybody see how I did that and what it looks like? So therefore, what I have here now is I can write sine squared of x times cosecant squared of x. Well, again, remember when we're canceling out, if we kind of get stuck with something, the easy, the next tip is to just transfer everything to sines and cosines. So this is already in sines, but let's rewrite this as a one over sine. So I write sine squared of x times one over sine squared of x. Now remember sine squared means sine squared of x times sine squared of x. So you could either just understand that one of those is going to cancel out, or if you want me to write it out, I will. Yeah, Okay, so what you'll notice is when you multiply these, right, one of these is going to cancel out, and you're just left with sine of x. Good. That's the poorest clap I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay.